are you thinking? Why bother with all this headache inducing individual stock picking when you can just go for a diversified portfolio of income investments all in one ETF? Well, which ETF? or ETFs should we pick? Well, today we narrow down that search and cover the top seven dividend exchange traded funds or ETFs for short. These all-in-one investment vehicles give you access to a whole group of companies. They come in all strategies and sizes, but the key thing is that they all offer more stability than your average individual stock investment. To keep updated, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be amongst the first to know when more investment inspiration videos are available. There are many ways to evaluate and choose ETFs for your portfolios. Today, I'm going to talk to you about two different evaluation criterias or categories of ETFs, then give you some of the best ETFs in each category. That way, you can make some sensible selections. The two main categories today are 1. Large, all-encompassing dividend selection strategies that try to mirror large indices, and 2. More tactical and sophisticated strategies that, for lack of a better term, try to be cute. Think S&P 500 versus Warren Buffett. Each has their reasons. Best to be educated on both. To start off our journey, we will go wide and then narrow down into different quadrants of the market. Starting off wide and safe, we have the largest by popularity based on assets under management, the Vanguard Dividend Appreciation ETF, ticker symbol VIG. With $66 billion dollars in assets under management and an annual expense ratio of just 0.06 percent the vanguard dividend appreciation etf is one big and inexpensive fund but as i said earlier this is not a very sophisticated machine while vig may be the biggest of the bunch it's not exactly the most complex the fund invests in around 290 of the top dividend stocks in the US that have a history of growing their dividends over time, at least 10 years on record. Top holdings include United Health Group, JP Morgan Chase, and Microsoft. Vanguard Dividend Appreciation ETF's major sector compositions are technology, financial, and healthcare. What sets this ETF apart? from the S&P 500 is that the companies within the ETF are all mega corporations with a median market cap of 150 billion versus the S&P 500 which can have companies that only have a market cap of 13.1 billion. So you can be assured that there are no small fries in this ETF. Currently, VIG has a 1.91% dividend yield next on our list. And another one from Vanguard is the Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF, ticker symbol VYM. Just like the last ETF on our list, it's got a pretty impressive $51 billion in assets and a very low expense ratio of just a 0.06%. Now, as the name suggests, this ETF focuses on those high yield stocks. VYM screens for higher yields instead of sustainable dividend growing companies like VIG. VYM is always looking out for your income needs by looking for companies with above average dividend yields. What's quite interesting is that the portfolio is actually bigger than VIG with around 440 different components and many of the same blue chip names that we see in VIG. The differentiator here is that VYM may actually invest in slightly riskier stocks that pay out a bigger dividend. VYM's major sector compositions are in financials, healthcare, and consumer staples. VYM currently pays a dividend yield of 3.82%. While you might be sacrificing some of the price stability with VYM, the extra income of a little over double the dividend yield of the S&P 500 could have potentially prevented you from needing to sell some of your valuable stocks to pay for the rising costs of your eggs and flour. Next on our list, we have a member from our friends at BlackRock and their ETF lines iShares. 
with the iShares Core Dividend Growth ETF, ticker symbol DGRO. The iShares Core Dividend Growth ETF is a well-established fund with just around $24 billion in assets under management and a low 0.08% expense ratio. DGRO focuses on stocks that have a strong dividend growth record and have been growing their dividends for at least five years. Additionally, DGRO also screens for dividend stocks that are currently paying out no more than 75% of their total profits in dividends. Why are they doing this, you might ask? Well, this is a good indicator that these companies who are paying more than this amount are likely to keep growing these dividends in the future. It's like a fine wine. The dividends may not be pouring out, but when there is a quality vintage, it's only going to get better with time. And with this careful curation, bring the list down to around 450 stocks, which includes some of the big names we've already seen in previous funds, but it also kicks out some of the more riskier ones on the list. The iShares Core Dividend Growth ETFs, major sector compositions are in technology, financials, and healthcare. Now, the yield isn't necessarily the highest one out there currently, DGRO pays a dividend yield of 2.28%. Next on our list, we move on to the more tactical ETS that attempt to deploy a more sophisticated strategy and narrow the universe of stock selection away from mirroring the S&P 500 or a larger indices. First, we have the ProShares S&P 500 Dividend Aristocrats ETF, ticker symbol NOBL. With a market cap of about 90 billion and an expense ratio of 0.35%, you can see things are getting a little more expensive. This fund focuses on the Dividend Aristocrats, a group of 64 stocks found within the S&P 500 that have not only met the inclusion criteria to be part of the S&P, but have also been increasing their dividend payments for over 25 years. These companies have been through the Ukraine war, the pandemic, the financial crisis, the dot-com boom and bust, and some of them everything before that. The ProShares S&P 500 Dividend Aristocrats ETF major sector compositions are in consumer staples, industrials, and materials. And though the goal is to hold all companies in equal weights currently, these are the top 10 holdings which will be rebalanced at the end of the quarter. As with many of these strong dividend growth funds, you won't see a very high yield as currently the Dividend Aristocrats ETF pays a dividend yield of 2%, but you will get the stability and consistency over the long haul. Next on our list and a mid cap fund, we have Wisdom Tree US mid cap dividend ETF, ticker symbol DON. Wisdom Tree US mid cap dividend ETF has $3.5 billion under management and a 0.38% expense ratio. This dividend fund focuses on the not too hot, not too cold, but just right mentality. DON steers clear of both the biggest and the smallest stocks and instead focuses on companies that are just the right size to provide stable dividend payments. Think of it as a collection of the Goldilocks stocks that are just perfect for your portfolio. This fund is a great complement to larger cap funds like an S&P 500 index ETF as it offers exposure to the next tier of companies. And with about 350 holdings, you'll get a broad range of stocks that you might not already have in your portfolio. To top it off, the yield is slightly higher than some of those large cap dividend ETFs out there. So you'll be getting decent payouts even if you invest in a little smaller companies. The Wisdom Tree US mid cap dividend ETF major sector compositions are financials, industrials, and consumer discretionary. Here are the top six holdings of DON and the number one holding Paramount Global, which is a familiar name we see in Warren Buffett's Berkshire 
Hathaway portfolio as well. Currently, the Wisdom Tree US Midcap Dividend ETF pays a 2.49% dividend yield. Next on our list, and a much smaller portfolio of stocks, we have Invesco S&P 500 High Dividend Low Volatility ETF, ticker symbol SPHD. With assets under management, just around 4 billion and an expense ratio of 0.3%, SPHD takes a different approach to income investing. Rather than just focusing on high dividend payers, SPHD seeks out companies with lower volatility to provide a more stable ride. This results in a diverse group of 50 stocks. The major sector composition of SPHD are real estate, utilities, and consumer staples. And the top holdings are well-known giants like the Altria Group and AT&T. Currently, SPHD pays a dividend yield of 3.83%. Last on our list, and another ETF from BlackRock, we have iShares Core High Dividend ETF, ticker symbol HDV. HDV has just around 12 billion in assets under management and a 0.08% expense ratio. HDV screens for dividend paying US companies that are high quality and have a strong financial balance sheet. This screen hopes to find companies that with their financial strength are able to pay out growing dividends. Unlike the other ETFs on our list that do deeper dive screenings like the SPHD and NOBL for growing dividends, this ETF only charges a 0.08% expense ratio, making it a great price for a more refined strategy. The major sector composition of HDV is energy, healthcare, and information technology. Top holdings include ExxonMobil, Verizon, Chevron Corp, and Athlete. Names that we've seen in many of the videos mentioned here in the Investment Inspiration channel. Currently, HDV pays a dividend yield of 3.58%. I hope you enjoyed this list of the top growing dividends ETFs for your portfolio. Be sure to check out our next video as we find more stocks and ETFs for your investment inspiration.